Okay, today I'm going to be making chicken pot pie on my 1927 quality gas range. And as promised in yesterday's video, I will show y'all the cheesecake I made. So here is the cheesecake from yesterday's video. So I'm going to use this book for a recipe for chicken pot pie. It's the Home Comfort Cookbook um, made by the Wright Iron Range Company of St. Louis, Missouri. They also manufactured wood stoves. So this is a reprint of a cookbook from 1924. Okay, here is the recipe. Okay, I've changed my plan. So instead of using the recipe for chicken pot pie from this book, I'm going to use a Victorian chicken pot pie recipe. The chicken pot pie in this book was more like chicken and dumplings. Okay, first we are going to brown the chicken and then we will cook it in the oven. Okay, so I'm browning the chicken and I have decided to cook it on top of the stove. Okay, so I'm browning the chicken in butter, oil, and minced garlic with a little salt in it. I'm making up this recipe as I go along and this chicken will go in the chicken pot pie. Okay, the chicken browned in butter, oil, and garlic and I poured a large glass of water in with it. Um, this water is dark due to the burnt butter. Now I will put half a bouillon cube in here. Now I will put some thyme and parsley in here. Now I will turn down the heat to where the liquid barely boils and then I will put the lid on this pot and cook the chicken for 45 minutes to an hour. Make sure while your chicken cooks you keep water around it. Okay the chicken's been cooking about an hour. I believe it's done. Okay I have turned off the chicken and moved it to the back burner. Now I'm going to start on the chicken pot pie. Okay, first we're going to wash our bell pepper and mushrooms. Okay, now we'll begin on the chicken pot pie filling. So first we're going to turn on this burner. And now we're going to melt two ounces of butter. Okay, the butter has melted. Now I'm going to turn off the burner so I don't burn the butter. Now we're going to cut up two ounces of mushrooms. Or a fourth a cup. Now I'm going to core and de-seed this bell pepper and then I will chop it up. Okay, I have diced the bell pepper and sliced the mushrooms. Now I will turn back on the burner with the butter on it. Now I will add the bell pepper and mushrooms to this butter. I will cook this until the mushrooms and bell peppers are soft. Now I'm going to slowly stir in two ounces of flour, which is about a fourth a cup of flour. Now I will add five ounces of sour cream. Now I'm going to add five ounces of chicken stock. Now I will add two tablespoons of sherry. Now I will add half a teaspoon of English mustard. Now I will add some salt and pepper to this. Okay, now I'm going to turn off this burner. By the way, I tasted some of that and it's really good, if I do say so myself. Now we're going to line this pie pan with a pie crust. Okay, the pie crust is in place. Now we're going to cut up the chicken we just cooked and fold the pieces into this. Okay, I have separated the chicken broth from the bone and the meat, and I have separated the meat from the bone. Now I will heat the filling of the chicken pot pie back up, and I will add the chicken. Okay, this is the chicken pot pie filling. Now we're going to pour this into the pie crust. Okay, now we will smooth this out to where it's flat. Now I will light the oven and preheat it to 400 degrees. Now we're going to put the second pie crust over the chicken and the other pie crust. Now I will cut some holes in the top so when it cooks, steam can escape. Just 
Just before I put this in the oven, I'm going to beat one egg and brush this over the top of the crust. Okay, now we're going to bake the chicken pot pie at 400 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, it's almost been 20 minutes. Let's check on the pot pie. It appears to be done. And there's the finished chicken pot pie.